हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज मुनम फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स एंड वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अवर चैनल ऑफ डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स वेर वी डिस्कस वर्ड प्रेस एंड वो कॉमर्स सोल्यूशन दैट कैन हेल्प यू ग्रो योर ऑनलाइन बिजनेस विच विल अल्टीमेटली असिस्ट यू टू प्रोवाइड अ टॉप नॉच यूजर एक्सपीरियंस एंड कस्टमर सेटिस्फैक्शन हैंस स्टे ट्यून विद अवर चैनल टू कीप गेटिंग बैक टू बैक प्रोडक्ट टूटोरियल्स एंड इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स Today's demo video is on CRM integration for Zoho plugins newly added features and updates and if you are new to our channel we recommend you to watch the part 2 before watching the part 3 of newly added features so that you can get the detailed idea about CRM integration for Zoho plugin setup and how does it works so we have added uh, the link in the description content for the part 2 and also added in this suggestion card so you can click on that also so before moving to the plugins backend settings let us first see what are the newly added features in this plugin with crm integration for zoho plugin the admin can sync the codes data with the help of codes module in the product feed edit section moreover we have also added the filter to filter out the errors in the log section by simply uh, adding the filter of error so all the errors will be filtered out in the log section We have also added the new option to sync the parent product with variations so that you can easily uh, sync the parent product with all the variations. Next we have also added the tax class mapping with the Zoho product tax so that you can map your tax class with the Zoho product tax in the product feed section. Now CRM integration for Zoho plugin is compatible with latest WP and WC. and we have also added the product display url product type and product status meta key for product woo object in feed setting so that uh, you can uh, you can sync your product display url and product type and product status as per your requirements so now let's move to the backend settings so we are on the backend setting of crm integration for zoho plugin and as you can see that uh, the contacts and the products and the deals and orders have been already been synced so if you want to watch the detailed part of how to set up the crm integration for zoho plugin so we have mentioned the link in the description for the part 2 on the uh, crm integration for zoho plugin so you can watch it from there so from part 2 you will be able to uh, you know how to set up the plugin and what are feeds and how to sync the data and how to check the log section and how to uh, configure the various settings in this settings tab so you can check out the uh, part 2 of crm integration for zoho plugin from the description content so in this demo video we will talk about what are the newly added features in this plugin so for newly added features let's go to feeds and let's go to product feeds and click on edit we are on the default products feed and here in this feed details of selecting the object so we have added the compatibility with the codes module so here you can select uh, codes module also so that you can sync the data for the codes module next if we scroll down and hover on map fields and if we select the field value so here we have added uh, this product display url product type meta key and product status meta key for the product woo object in the feed settings like if we select field value and here if we scroll scroll down and as you can see that here is product type and next is product display url and here uh, is product status meta key so this is how you can also uh, put down these uh, field values uh, to map the particular fields next if we scroll down and here if we uh, hover on sync variable product so here you can here you can enable this option to sync the parent product for variations so we have also added this new feature to sync the parent product for variations next uh, if we come to tax setup and here if we hover down so here we have added tax class mapping with zoho product tax in this product feed section and here as you can see that here it is zoho tax rate so this is how you can uh, do the tax setup and uh, enable uh, Uh, sync variable product and click on this tick box to sync the parent product for variations next if we uh, go to uh, like if we let me go let me go to back to feeds and we are on the feed section next if we go to log section and here we have added the filter where you can filter by filter these logs by error like uh, for now the filter is uh, for all 
let me select on errors so as you can see that there, for now there is no error in this log so it, it is it is not showing any of the error but if uh, if any of the errors are there so you can filter it by uh, selecting the error now let's go to settings tab and here as you can see that here you can also enable the woo syncing log so that you can enable the log creation to check the status of the sync data so if you want to check the status of the sync data you can enable this functionality from here next if you will scroll down so here uh, there is an option or field is synchronized product stock in woocommerce so if you want to update the product stock quantity in woocommerce uh, after the update after it is updated in zoho so you can enable this and synchronize the product stock in woocommerce next if you want to synchronize the order status in woocommerce like after it is updated in zoho so you can also synchronize your order status by enabling this from here so as you can see that here uh, the option has come map zoho order status to woocommerce status so from here you can synchronize it and here if we click on this you can enable product stock uh, and synchronize in woocommerce so this is how you can enable or disable these functionalities as per your business requirements so this was all about the newly added features and updates for crm integration for zoho plugin and if you want to watch the detailed video of CRM integration for Zoho plugin, so we have mentioned the link in the description content, so you can watch it from there. This was all about the demo video on CRM integration for Zoho plugins newly added features and updates. And if you have any queries regarding the plugin functionality, so you can mention your queries in the comment section and we will be glad to help you. And if you are new to our channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and share the video. Until the next video, stay connected with us. Thank you.